Hi, welcome to the Strauss Academy. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about how to appropriately collect images, including face images, in order to have a model capable of generating an accurate face profile. The first step in having a successful flight is making sure the drone is ready to fly. No matter what drone you are using, you will have similar information presented in that flight app, whether it's DJI, Parrot, etc. Uh, you'll want to make sure that you have multiple satellites, uh, approximately 13, locked onto the drone and that the drone is ready to be flown. When beginning the flight, typically the top-down images are taken first. Depending on how wide the shot is in terms of the rows, that determines if more than two passes of the top of the bench will be required. A typical flight height would be about 100 to 150 feet uh, from point of takeoff. Just make sure the height you choose, there are no obstacles such as a drill mast or even another bench that will be in your way throughout the flight. You'll want to strive for 70 to 80% overlap of the images. This means that 80% of the previous image is shown in the current image being taken. So this is kind of how everything looks. This is on uh, help.strayos. It's uh, flying a bench. And uh, if we just keep scrolling, this is, uh, the information. So once the top down images uh, of the bench have been taken, it is a good idea to continue uh, that for the floor of the shot as well. Um, this will follow the same format as the top of the bench. One to three passes will be needed depending on how much of the floor you want to be shown in your model. The next step is to take these angled or oblique photos of the high wall face itself one to two passes of the face with images that cover the first two rows of the shot and part of the floor. As we can see from uh, here, we wanna get this uh, nice angle that ca captures the top of the bench, uh, the crest, the, the face, the toe, and the bottom of the bench in these obliques. It, this helps with uh, stitching of the images because if they're just directly horizontal, uh, there is no additional information that allows those face images to be stitched to those top-down nadir images. So if we look at these uh, images, we can see that this top one is the best practiced while these, the next two that I'll show you are common mistakes. So here we have kind of the first two rows, crest, face, toe, bottom of bench. Again, we don't get enough uh, kind of uh, top of bench information in this one. And this is too far kind of from the area being mapped. So this is kind of the images that you would strive for on your obliques. So for this, you would want approximately 50 to 60 total images to have a robust uh, model for your face profile. And once all the images are captured, then they can be uploaded to Strayos to begin processing. I hope this video has been helpful. If you want to find more information or videos like this, please navigate to the Strayos website, which is strayos.com. The link is in the description. Thank you so much for listening, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.